Today I'm going to show you how to use Rundown Creator by creating a rundown for a three minute morning news update. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is log into Rundown Creator. Since it's hosted in the cloud, you can do that from any computer, tablet, or mobile device connected to the internet. All you have to do is fire up your favorite web browser, go to your company's special Rundown Creator URL, and enter your login credentials. Once you've logged in, Rundown Creator will load up your most recent rundown. If you'd like to load a different rundown, you can do that from the menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen. You can also create a new rundown from there, and that's what we're going to do today. When creating a new rundown, you'll be asked some basic questions, like whether you'd like to use a template, what the title of your show is, when it starts and ends, and what folder it should be saved in. I'm going to start with a blank rundown template. Title this rundown, Morning News Update. Have it start at 10 a.m., end at 10.03 a.m., and be saved in the Channel 4 News folder. After you hit the Go button, you'll be taken to your new rundown. Now, before we get to stacking the show, let's talk about the rundown layout. It's completely customizable, so you can make it look however you like. You can reorder columns by dragging and dropping, and resize them by clicking and dragging their right edges. If you right-click along the blue header row, you can also add and remove columns, and load and save layouts. I'm going to go ahead and load up my default layout. Okay, now let's start stacking our show. The first thing we're going to do is add some more rows to the rundown. To do that, you can either right-click on the row in the rundown and select Insert Row Above or Insert Row Below, or you can use their keyboard shortcuts, Control-Shift-I and Control-Shift-Option-I, respectively. Now let's fill out the rundown. Making changes is as simple as clicking and typing, or dragging and dropping. You can move around in the rundown by using the arrow keys. One of the cool new features of Rundown Creator version 3 is real-time updates. If I open up another web browser, load up this rundown, and make changes to it, you'll see that they show up in the other browser instantly. For this 3-minute morning news update, I'm going to start with an open, a show introduction, a Vosot, two VOs, a We'll Be Right Back, and a Break. You can change rows into breaks by right-clicking on them and selecting Break, or by using the keyboard shortcut Control shift b In the second block of our morning news update, I'm going to start with a weather toss, then a brief weather segment, a goodbye, and a copyright graphic. I'm going to go ahead and delete these extra rows at the bottom of the screen, you can do that by right-clicking and selecting Delete Row, or by using the keyboard shortcut Control shift d Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of the rundown. Okay, let's talk about timing for a moment. In Rundown Creator, you allocate time to each segment in your show using the Estimated Duration column. For my morning news update, I'm going to allocate 5 seconds for the open, 5 seconds for the show introduction, 35 seconds for the Vosot, 20 seconds for each of the VOs, 5 seconds for the We'll Be Right Back, 45 seconds for the break, 5 seconds for the weather toss, 25 seconds for weather, 5 seconds for the goodbye, and 5 seconds for the copyright graphic. Now, you might have noticed that as I was making these changes, the front time and back time columns automatically updated, as did the program status, which shows I'm under 5 seconds, and that my show's TRT is 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Now that our rundown is stacked, let's go ahead and write some scripts. To script a segment in Rundown Creator, right click on its row in the rundown and select Edit Script. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift O. When the script editor opens, you can start writing your copy, and Rundown Creator will calculate approximately how long it will take to read on air. Now, you can format your scripts pretty much any way you like, but if you'd like to get the most out of Rundown Creator, here's how we recommend doing things. Role cues, like take VO, should go in curly brackets. Objects, which I'll talk about in a later video, go in carrots. And notes go in square brackets. This script is going to be a Vosot, and Rundown Creator comes with script templates, including one for a Vosot, so I'm going to insert that into the script using the drop down in the lower right hand corner of the screen. These script templates are completely customizable by the way, and later I'll show you where to go to customize them. Alright, real quick I'll go ahead and write the rest of the script.
Okay, my script is all done. Let's go over it real quick. First, I have the anchor who's reading the story. Then some copy. After that, there's a take VO roll cue. Then some more copy. Then, a take sot command and the transcription of the soundbite. You'll notice below that is the out cue, which is this first phase at 10 seconds. When you put the out cue in this format, Rundown Creator will add 10 seconds to the script. You can also add time to a script by putting durations in square brackets like this or this. After the out cue, there's a more VO roll cue, and finally, some more copy. I'm going to go ahead and save this script using the Save button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control shift s When I save the script, you might notice two things. First, the version of the script I just saved shows up in the Versions drop-down menu now. Secondly, the color of the row in the rundown changes. Before, it was yellow, which indicates the script was empty. Now, it's red, which means there is something in the script, but it hasn't been approved yet. If it were green, that would mean that it had been approved. Okay, I'm done with this script, and it's time to move on to the next one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the arrow on the right side of the screen to go to it. Real quick, I'll write a few more scripts. My rundown is stacked and my scripts are written, so I'm going to go ahead and print some rundowns and scripts for my talent and crew. Before I do that though, I'm going to freeze page numbers. It's important to freeze page numbers before you print rundowns and scripts, so that even if you make a change to your rundown later, your page numbers stay the same. To freeze page numbers, bring up the rundown menu by clicking on your rundown's title and date, and then select freeze page numbers. Links to printer-friendly versions of the rundown and scripts are also listed under the rundown menu. Okay, it's time to go on air, so let's load up Rundown Creator's built-in, web-based teleprompter. The teleprompter pulls its content directly from your rundowns and scripts, and the cool thing about it is that any changes you make show up instantly. You can control it using the scroll wheel on your mouse, the trackpad on your computer, or the up and down arrows on your keyboard. If you want to stop it, just hit the space bar. If you want to queue up a specific story, use the left or right arrow keys, or the drop-down menu in the upper left. The appearance of the teleprompter is completely customizable. If you click on the settings button, you can change the font size, color, and more. While I think that Rundown Creator's built-in web-based teleprompter is pretty slick, some people might prefer to use third-party prompting software, and that's no problem. Rundown Creator can export scripts in plain text or rich text format, which you can then import into your teleprompter. To help keep my morning news update on time, I'm going to use Rundown Creator's new on-air show timer. I'll activate it from the rundown menu when my show begins by clicking on the Start On-Air Show Timer link. Then I'll hit the space bar each time a new segment begins. Rundown Creator will do all the math for me, telling me whether I'm over, under, or on time. It'll also time each of my segments for me. When you're done with your show, don't forget to archive it from the rundown menu. When you archive a rundown, not only does it prevent anyone from making changes to it, it also tucks the rundown out of the way on the archives page, where it will stay in the system until you decide to delete it. As we wrap this up, I just want to point out two final things. The first is the chat window in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. With it, you can send group messages to your entire team, or private messages to individual people. The second thing I want to point out is the settings page. You can get to it by clicking on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. There, you can do all the standard stuff like change your username or password, but there are also a few other things worth mentioning. In the folders section, you can create new folders to save rundowns in. In the rundown templates section, you can create, edit, and delete rundown templates. The same thing applies in the script templates section, only for script templates. And finally, there's the user management section, where you can create accounts for all of the members of your team, and control who can do what. All right, well, that's how Rundown Creator version 3 works. To try it out for yourself, sign up for a free two-week trial on our website. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email. Our email address is support at rundowncreator.com. Also, if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.